In this tech tip, we will be setting up the Auto Generate Drawings function, now available in the latest release of SolidWorks and SolidWorks Connected. Utilizing the cloud platform and AI, this new feature can help streamline your workflow by generating drawings on demand for 3D models you're working on in SolidWorks. Once the drawing is generated, all it will need is a few tweaks and they will be finished. This time-saving tool is directly connected to the 3D Experience platform and thus requires SolidWorks Connected 2025 FD01 or SolidWorks Desktop SP01 with the Collaborative Designer for SolidWorks add-in. This add-in is included with all new SolidWorks licenses and cloud services. To get started, first make sure you are on that latest release of SolidWorks Connected or SolidWorks 2025 SP01 and having that add-in Collaborative Designer for SolidWorks installed and up-to-date. Next, there's some main areas where we want to have um, things set up ahead of time before we try to generate a drawing. These settings are going to take place inside of SolidWorks. So with SolidWorks open, you'll need to go to the SolidWorks system settings. And once in this window, we will need to go to default templates first. And in this section, we want to make sure the drawing template selected is the template that you wish to have your new drawings generated on. This is important for any linked properties you may have from parts and assemblies going into your drawings. Next, go down one section of the settings here to go to File Locations. Once here, we want to make sure you set the following up to access the required templates on your PC. So we want to make sure we have Document Templates, Bill of Material Templates, Family Table Templates, and Revision Templates all set up properly. Now, all four of these categories, they need to be set up and linked to the proper file location on your PC that has these templates in them and they are the ones that you want to use. So just make sure you have those set up ahead of time. If there's an issue with any of these settings, the drawing will automatically fail. All right, it's the best way to, to get this to work is to have everything set up properly the first time. Once all of these settings are in place, you'll want to run a test of this feature to make sure everything is set up properly. To run the Auto Generation of Drawings tool, you'll need to open a file in SolidWorks uh, that is a part or assembly that you would like to have a drawing created for. From there, make sure you have saved any changes to that part prior to generating the drawing if you have not already, and then either from the file menu or by right-clicking the part in the assembly um, in your feature manager, select the option Auto Generate Drawing. A small dialog is going to open in your feature manager and uh, this is for the auto generation of drawings function. You need to make sure you have the right components selected uh, and a title for the new drawing about to be created. So one thing to note, uh, if you see here, the selected components are currently showing the file name in the selection field, not the title of the file. This is how SolidWorks needs it and keeps the references. Um, and if you are in an assembly creating a drawing for a specific part, just be sure that you have the proper part selected. Once this is in place, the last step is to select a save location. Uh, you can click on the browse button here and choose whatever you want. Um, by default, it will locate it in the same uh, file or folder where the CAD file is stored. From here, we can click on the green check mark to start the auto generation of drawings function. And once selected, you will see a tab open in your task pane on the right side of your screen. Now this is where you'll see the progress and status of the drawings being generated. And for each drawing, you will see a title, status, and action. The title being the drawing name that you had just selected. The status being the uh, loading visual for the process. Uh, so it kind of gives you a little loading ring. Uh, and then the action, which will allow you to cancel should you need to during the process. Or uh, once it's completed, that will change to open, to open the drawing. Now, once the drawing is generated, we're going to click on Open and see that the drawing was created. Add any additional dimensions, annotations, views as needed. Uh, and if your part, assembly, and drawing templates are set up to map properties, this should all automatically fill in as well. So make sure that that is functioning the way you need. And then the last step of this is to save the drawing where you would like it. Um, it does have that default save location that was set before the drawing was generated, but if you use the 3D Experience platform for data management, you'll also need to do the initial cloud save at this point. It does not automatically save it to the cloud upon creation.
And with that, you have now successfully used the auto-generate drawings function with the 3D Experience platform and AI.